Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and <laughs> I was expecting to get up and record Breath of the Wild today, but I don't think that's going to be happening, because I uh, E3 is happening today, and that's what you are, are should be seeing now, and you'll have to forgive some of my awkwardness, I don't normally record in front of a camera, and this wasn't even planned. I just figured it would be a good idea, rather than me talking about it in the episode, to actually make a video where I actually get to see the the uh, Smash 4, or sorry, Smash 5 trailer for the first time. So, we're going to be doing that. Uh, going into it, there are a couple things, here if I can pull up Word, that I am going to be looking for. Word. There we go. Yes, it's 2003. So, the first thing uh, I'm, I'm definitely going to be looking for is... Mechanics. I want the mechanics to be much different from Smash 4 because I've come to the realization that Smash 4's base mechanics, uh, like the neutral game, how you approach, are inherently shallow. Short hopping, or empty hopping as it's called, is a very shallow mechanic and it, it, there's not much you can do with it. It's basically just a glorified hot-cold approach, which is great and viable when there are other approaches, like when you have a depth of movement, but when that's all of your approach, it's it's not the best. So, I want to see new mechanics from Smash 4, um, and new mechanics to improve upon Smash 4's lack of depth, um, not just new mechanics for the sake of it. I've heard that ledge trumping is still in. I'm fine with that. That that has some depth, that has some counterplay, and it has some um, it has some different interactions which make it unique. So, we're going to be looking for that. Um, movement, I guess that could be put in mechanics, is another thing I want to see, because same reason. Uh, and specifically, now, kits. That's the other thing that I'm really excited for. I want almost every character that is a, a veteran, so Link, Mario, I want to see them with completely new kits. Uh, in the, the very first trailer for Sveish, as I'm calling it, that is 5S... Uh, M, oh wait, M, A, uh, A, 5, H. Um, we, we saw that Breath of the Wild Link was spoiled, and I will be sorely disappointed if that was spoiled and we just get regular Link kit with some Breath of the Wild aesthetics. That's, that would be so dumb, in my opinion. Um, the, this Link should have remote bombs, he should have glider, he should have stasis, he should actually match up to the uh the paradigm set by his current games and not ocarina of time and zelda one like that's that's what it was set by with 64 and we've kept that kit ever since and i want to see an actual update to link same with mario uh we've we've been rocking flood and that was cool to see in brawl and i i honestly am fine with it but I want to see some cappy action i want to see i don't maybe some power ups besides fireball and I, I want to see this shaken up. So those are the four things I'm looking for going into this. Now, without further ado, let's load apparently called Smash Ultimate. Learn more. Also, wait, 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 go back, go back, go back, go back. New fighters, check. New stages, check. Every fighter that was ever featured in the series, check. That means Snake. Let's see. I see Pokemon Trainer. I see Cloud. Do you see? Okay. Now I'm hyped for this going forward. This could be good. Let's let's see. I don't think this is just a port. Where's the trailer? Link? Okay, that's a spin attack. Yes. Yes. Good. I saw a remote bomb. That's that's good. Wolf looks weird. I'm not sure about Wolf. Wolf do you see? I think I can go up to 480, by the way. But, uh, Wolf does not look healthy. Wolf, you could probably get that checked out. That looks bad. Like, that... And, and you can tell I'm being honest with this trailer. That does not look good. <laughs> I noticed here that there are point percents, which mean... Which have always been a thing. Uh, at least as far as melee, point percents have always been an invisible thing. But now... It's why sometimes moves will deal like one damage or three damage. It's because they do, they don't round up. So if it does one point five damage, you'll take one damage or one percent, and then the next point five will knock you up to three. 
Um, it's very noticeable with Bayonetta's uh, lingering shot moves, but here you can actually see it. It's not a huge thing because it's always been a mechanic, but it adds a, a little bit more clarity, which is nice. Battle, and this time Good. there's no penalty for sticking Good. with one. So feel for those free of you who don't know, because this is, I mean, people, if Brawl's in the past, so people also, probably have forgotten. Um, your Pokemon with the Pokemon Trainer time. and Brawl would tire out. So if you stay Charizard for the entire game, he would deal less percent and less damage as the battle progressed. And basically it was it was inherent stale move negation um, just across all kits. Also, they were all weak to elemental things, which wasn't too prevalent, but the tiring thing made them, if they weren't already um, completely unviable, this sealed the deal. Battle. But, time, it's cool, no it looks like they can change in the one. air, so feel free right? To your main. And that's that's so quick, that's not punishable, really. Also, a little something to his stone ability. Can you open it? He has a copy ability for every fighter, so the more fighters we have... So more Diamond Dive will probably be, ba be back, well. which I'm not going to explain that what that is. Look it up. I'm the one who discovered it. Have fun. Uh, so, one thing I predict is that high tiers are going to be gutted. Like, they're going to be straight up gutted in this game. Bayonetta, I think, is going to be trash. Cloud, I think, will probably be trash. Um, but characters like Shulk, the characters that were really clunky, are going to be are going to be overcompensated. That That's my thought. That's my theory here. We also added Fiora to his final smash. Um... No. <laughs> No. Rises again, returning to his they should have a question, like a thing pop up on screen when you select Schultz and say it says, man. "Have you played Xenoblade? Yes or no? No? If your doesn't show up, because that's dumb." And her down Ooh. Is now both a and Ooh, I like that. I I actually really like that. That's Rob has a new gauge on That's a Cassie, good. Mm, how I I like that change. I I could see more characters getting that treatment. Assist trophies. Okay, this is the well, kind of the part the where I can check out. Trophies, let me share some <sighs> As you may know, assist trophies lend helpful support in battles. Th this is basically all the characters that aren't confirmed, so Ridley. By... Directional air dodge is where I left off. That's where I left off. Enhances mobility. Do you know what this means? Wave dashing. It can come in handy possibly. When recovering from a fall. Nintendo GameCube controllers can be used in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. For many of you, it just isn't the same without them. I knew that this was going to be announced, but I the the box art I saw that was leaked looked very third party. This looks like a straight up GameCube controller. This looks high quality. Looks like it's going to flood the market with new GameCube controllers, which are needed because I have. Hold on. I have... This is going to be a long video, I guess. I have these. I have these. They're brand new. Um, th this one has been opened, never played, never plugged in. But it has been open to inspect. Brand new. Still in the wrapping. So, that's they're worth about $120 now. Sorry about that. And it's good to see that, like, I like investing in them, but I don't like the fact that if I want a new GameCube controller, I need to spend big money to do it. So, this is great. This is going to be Ridley. That was weird. Oh yeah, this is going to be Ridley. <laughs> Metric Prime 4 looking great. Why? I love how I love how Samus fits here, Mega Man fits here and Mario's just there. Ooh. That's that's actually surprisingly gruesome.
Ridley hits the big time. <laughs> yes. He's big. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. I wasn't the biggest proponent of, of Ridley. Like, I didn't not want him, but I could have done without. But it's great to see the community finally getting this. And he's great. He's not tuned up at all. Like, he's not a, a tuned character. He looks rough and like he's from one of the alien movies. He's just, it's beautiful. He's beautiful. Yes. We already knew about that, so that's nothing new. That was actually your downbeat, which is pretty kind of, pretty kind of cool. Available when. This year? This year? Is that it? Wow. Information overload. Uh, I'll try to keep the wrap up pretty quick because this video has been long for the most- for It has been pretty long. And I've already given my thoughts as the video went. So, um, let's- let's just kind of run through this. So, New, uh, every character being back. Great. I love it. That means that no one can complain. Oh man, but, but Pichu wasn't here. I love Pichu. Or like, Roy, why wasn't he in this game? Um, no one can complain. And I I'm wondering how it's going to work with this, there being this many Smash characters. But I do know that the balancing of Smash 4 was pretty good. I would say it's the best of any Smash game to date, excluding Project M. They really feel like, and I'm, I'm going to wrap up the video now, but they really feel like they're, li it really feels like they're listening to the community here. This right here, if this is, first of all, it's compatible from the start. Nintendo realizes, okay, this is the most, this is what the community wants. Um, so we're going to keep supply of the game controller. A lot of thought went into this controller and it just, it defines gaming now. It's just the best controller. Um, and I, I want to see them do some modern upgrades to it. For example, the octagonal design, I don't like. I want them to add the Pro Controller stick. Um, but just the fact that they're re-releasing GameCube controllers is great, especially when they look like this. This looks first party. I think it is first party. It looks identical, except for like some of the octagonal stuff. You notice that it's a little bit rounder, which is at least good. They're meeting my request in the middle. Um, there is no M button, which I don't like because then it really, it makes it right-handed uh, weighted. So that means it's much harder to perform, um, or it's it's much harder on your right hand to perform techniques and technical play. So I, I think they should have this here for sake of hand health, but beggars can't be choosers. But this looks good. It looks good. I, I'm excited for Smash for 5 um, and I, I really want to see what they do. So... Man, I'm I'm hyped for this December. That means that's that's when I need to get my switch. It looks like there's going to be a lot more depth, and so just going back to here, mechanics, directional air dodge, hopefully wave dashes, but hopefully, but uh, they may not be. Movement seems the fast falls seem faster. Um, it looks like it feels like melee gravity. Um, we didn't really see anyone fast fall here, but just looking at it base, it looks like melee gravity. Um. Kits have been looked at, even if they haven't made a ton of changes, like Mario is trying to be the accessible character, so they're not going to make him super technical with, like, Happy and stuff. But it is great that they they took a look at it and said, what can we do here? What can we do besides just bringing it to this standard? What Can we add something here? Is there a quality of life fix that we should be making? And it looks like they did. Um, same with Marth. Just they, they changed a lot of things that were community uh, community outreach um or community input things um and just it looks it looks great i'm hopeful for this i i'm really hyped so every character's gonna be in I, i'm trying to think if there's anything else i wanted to say for casual play i would say it's it's gonna be a little bit better because of the the damage change it's not gonna be like someone's gonna be wamboed at zero percent go up to 90 and then just die because that happens and it's sometimes you can't help it. So it looks like that's going to be helped. Uh, the, the, a leader is going to be very clearly the leader. Um, so people can gang up on them a bit easier. Um, final smashes are quicker. I wish that they weren't as 
generic in terms of, oh, they're in front of me, I use it, it just does a lot of damage in percent, but I get why they're doing it, they're trying to speed up play um, for multiplayer matches, I didn't see Great Cave Offensive, which is nice, uh, Squid Kid, looking good, looking fresh, looks faithful, stages, great, game controller, great, wave dash, great, so, I think that's it, uh, I'll try and have this edited today, and I'll, I'll try to have it released tomorrow, Man, I got. I, uh, mm. This looks great. Okay, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop trying to think of things to say because I think for the most part I gave my input as we went through the video. This video is getting fairly long. I think it's probably going to be around double the length of the video of the actual video that we watched. So I'll end it here. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if there's any other big release, I might just throw up the camera again and record that again. Otherwise, I'll see you guys for uh, the episode of Breath of the Wild probably today. See you guys then.